You know nothing, Jon Snow. Jon Snow should have been king. I know that much. Bran the Broken? He only acted as bait for the Night King. Jon's earned it, whether he likes it or not. Anyway, that's enough of that. It's casting challenge time again, and this time it's copper. Just one kilogram or 2.2 pounds, and what can we do with it? Well, as you can probably guess from my opening rant, I fancied doing something Games of Throne related, and I thought of the Starks. The Starks would use copper for their currency, no namby-pamby gold for them. So the idea of a copper coin was born in my tiny mind. And of course, on Thingiverse, there's already a beautiful example of this same concept, though this fabulous design was too involved for me. But I was able to take inspiration from it to design my own simpler and smaller version using Fusion 360. Just like with my John Wick coin, I worked in layers to create depth. There's an ironing setting on Cura that I've been experimenting with. It melts and smooths the top layer a little, and I've tried it here. It's quite pleasing, except for around the wolf's head. That didn't look very nice to me. So I used the end of a file to lightly scrub away any print lines. There's no other sanding or wax filling, but another little light sanding on the back. I actually want some blemishes this time. I wasn't sure how many I could actually make with a kilogram of copper, so I printed off 12 using ordinary PLA. Some folks have said to me that joining things to the sprue with wax is difficult. It just takes a little practice, but how about this for an alternative? Simply take a wax sprue, drill a few holes in it, and insert the 3D print. Then lightly melt the wax around it. This creates a waterproof join. The bottom section of the sprue, with its built-in pouring basin, can still be used. The wax sprue is simply pushed into this and then melted away a little in exactly the same way. I used old copper piping for my metal source and weighed out exactly one kilogram. Let's have a quick look what my mates are up to. That has to be one of the prettiest paws I've seen.
One of these bottom ones doesn't look too good. I'm very pleased with these, they've polished up nicely. They're not perfect, but they're rustic, just like Stark coins would be. Of the 11 I have here, this is the worst. And this is the best, not bad. Folk have been asking me if I'll sell the things that I cast. So I've set up an Etsy store if you're interested. I'll post anywhere in the world and the proceeds will help support my channel. So thanks to those that make purchases. These coins weigh 25 grams each on average. So with the metal that's left over and remelting the one failure, I could potentially have made 22 coins. I hope you've enjoyed this one guys. Do please check out my fellow challengers Big Stack D and Art by Adrock and check out my Etsy store if you can. And why not send in a few suggestions for things you'd like to see me make and sell there. So that's it guys, take care and thanks for watching.